They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and when it comes to preserving history, you may have to multiply that by a thousand. We would know a lot less about the history of the RGB if it weren't for some early photographers like Robert Runyon. Cameron County Historical Commissioner Eugene Fernandez has more on those photographs and the legacy he left behind in this week's Throwback Thursday. Brenda, we're in downtown Brownsville in the old sector of the city, and behind me is the Runyon House that was inhabited by Robert Runyon from about 1909 on up into the 30s. Robert Runyon was immensely important towards the, what you call the chronicling of the history of Brownsville. Every place on the face of the earth has a history. But the problem with so many places is that it's not recorded. Robert Runyon was a hobbyist photographer. And his gift to our heritage was 8,000 photographs of the period between 1909 and 1926 in Brownsville. That was a formative period that was extremely important for us. And there is not a museum in the lower Rio Grande Valley here that doesn't have some of his photographs. Robert Runyon was there during some very important periods of our history. Number one, when the Mexican Revolution started, he was here in Brownsville during that time, very tumultuous time. And he also went into the interior of Mexico to Victoria and Monterey and those campaigns with General Lucio Blanco. Those photographs were captured, and those are part of, our, of his repertoire that he gave to our, to our history. Among the subject matter of what Runyon's photographs was all about, the Mexican Revolution, of course, and then Fort Brown, the buildup of Fort Brown. He did an enormous number of photographs of that. And then he was a portraiture. He took uh, shots of the houses that we have rec for recorded time now. A lot of those houses, uh, unfortunately, are gone. To show how broad this man's interests were, he not only was uh, a master at photography, and he recorded that for us, he then after that he studied botany. He wrote two books that are the world authority on, on South Texas botany. From the botanical standpoint, he made a very strong stand in history because he led a crusade to save the sable palm, the Sabal Texana, and, and we all know how important that is, what was to us. He then got off into a period of politics. He was city manager in the late 30s, and then in the 40s, he was mayor for nine years. All of those things that he gave to Brownsville are his legacy, and the rest is history. For Channel 23 News, I'm Eugene Fernandez. And as just mentioned, uh, Runyon's works can be seen in museums across the RGB and even other parts of Texas and the world. We found some great photographs for this report over at the Stillman House Museum in downtown Brownsville.